Hi, I'm Stephen Cook, multimedia journalist with the Saltwire Network and the Chronicle Herald. And today I have the pleasure of talking with Sierra Eshuzada about her appearance on the reality show All Round Champion. She is a Sackville High School athlete and is the star of this reality show that was filmed in Ontario where she must undergo many, many challenges over the course of the show in, or in order to become the show's All Round Champion. The show's in its third season. And uh, I'm wondering, Sierra, were you aware of this show prior to uh, your mom sending in your audition tape? No, I had never heard of the show. My mom found it very randomly. And we really just joined, like, spontaneously. We didn't really expect anything out of it. It was more just for fun. And when I made the first cut, it was really, like, eye-opening. And we were excited. But still, we didn't really have high hopes. And then when I found out I made the show, it was very surreal. And it was a really cool experience. Were you used to be on TV, at least, in your in your career as, uh, as an athlete? Um, I've had quite a few interviews and like articles done up for my boxing, but never ever was I on like reality TV or any sort of TV. So it was a new experience and I was really excited to try it out and see what it was going to be like. Now you're a boxer. Uh, you know, obviously you're on this show with kids from all over the place, I guess from across Canada and beyond. Uh, I, I'm assuming this was recorded last year, this, this program. Um, it was recorded around September, October, November, and I came home at the end of December. So I was gone for almost three months. And yeah, it was just this September to December. Wow, that sounds like an amazing experience. Uh, why do you think they chose you for this uh, for this show? Obviously, your athletic uh, achievements are, are, are outstanding, uh, but... Uh, what do you think you had that, that made them uh, so keen to have you on the show? Um, I think I made it very noticeable that I was confident, I'm brave, um, I'm very good at what I do, I think, at least. And um, I just made it known that I was ready for anything and I was going into this experience with an open mind. And I think I showed a lot of personality. What was the biggest challenge obviously you know the boxing is your thing you've also played football you've played with the boys football team and were in fact the team's captain which i i find is just an incredible achievement for anybody uh but uh you know in on the show you're going to be rock climbing I, I saw rollerblading i saw pole vaulting I, like any manner of sports it seemed like a they were just throwing different things at you almost every day what uh what did you find the biggest hurdle to get over Probably my biggest challenge wouldn't even be any of the sports. It was honestly being away from home for so long and not having my parents, not having my friends, not having that support there with me. But all the other athletes, we became really close. We became like family. And so I had them to support me there. Even though we were competitors, we were there for each other and we were friends. But probably the hardest sport for me was tennis, actually. Wow, I, I would think that tennis would have involved some of the same aspects of boxing uh, in terms of footwork and and uh, you know using using different strokes and things like that. But but obviously uh, I would be wrong in that assumption. What was it about tennis that was so hard? Uh, I think it was just really like the technique. It it was really hard, and I I went into it assuming that it would be quite easy, but I was wrong. <laughs> 